Hey everyone, um, I want to talk about something very serious right now and I want everyone to know that during these past months it has been very hard for me and it has been really hard for others out there to be honest like what's going on so what happened before was that <clears throat> I was going through hard times by trusting someone who has backstabbed me and that person is Katie Bradley now you see this gorgeous girl on the Facebook profile that is not a real person okay I looked it up through the image search right the uh, the reverse image search and so and what I found was that this girl isn't an actual girl that I was talking to it was an OnlyFans girl and I wasn't talking to that person at all I was talking to someone who was using me this whole time and now I had a message since yesterday about someone through Telegram about my nude images on there, okay? And these people, they don't care at all. You know, they just don't care. They don't care about what they, what you want, what they uh, want you to like. They just want you to like suffer. That's all. And some messages just said to me, "nasty cock," and they had my n nude image on there. And it just terrified me so much because. These are my images right here. And honestly, in my entire life, I would never in my entire life send you any images of myself. There's an image of a naked man in that picture, which is me, and his long hair in there. And I would never send that to anyone out there because of privacy concern itself. These people are completely disgusting pieces of shit. Okay, they are complete pieces of shit. They are. They have ruined my life. They have also ruined other people that I don't know of. And they even leaked these images out there. Like, they use my vulnerability, okay? They use my, uh, like, vulnerability out there. And just use it against me. Alright? The story is that I'm a virgin who never experienced sex. I wanted to know what sex was like. And by trusting that person, I lost it a lot of money. It was about a thousand pounds. And I don't want you to go through the same thing as I did, okay? And it's kind of hard, like, getting the money back because of these people. I reported to the police. I went to the police station about it. And they couldn't even do anything about it anyway. I tried to tell them just to help me out a bit. And they couldn't do, and they couldn't do anything about it anyway. So, uh, I want you to know that these people out there, they just want to spread my image on social media with my name on it. And they just want to, like... Put this naked picture of myself on there, and it's just absolutely disgusting. As a, I try to deal with the situation, you know, I try to deal with it, and I'm just really tired of this at the moment because of how it's going on. You know, it's been like months anyway. It's been like since before it happened in February the first, and it was the worst time of my life. I was right there at the computer, struggling to get this thing sorted out because I don't want everyone else to see my naked picture, and I was struggling to get the thing removed. But it was too stressful, man. I lost a lot of money that I worked so hard at saving. And it's just gone. Working at a Starbucks job. And just It's just gone at the moment, you know. So, uh, I just want to move on from it. Because it's just, it's haunting me right now. But, honestly, I don't want you to know. Well, I just want you to know that I would never mind how I've seen these images, okay? Sorry, I'm just having a hard time, like get things in order right now because of stuff like this try to get my life in order try to get my find a purpose in my life with these people out there you know they just don't care at all they just don't care about what you want right i wanted to know what losing my virginity was instead i lost my confidence i lost my money i lost my self-esteem i lost my ability to focus on what i'm looking for these people have used me so much and they've gotten away with it. Other people have been trying to threaten me of going to jail. But let me tell you something right here, okay? In my entire life, I've never felt so scared in my entire life because of stuff like this. All I wanted was a normal life. A normal life. A normal life where I can wake up without any of the stress I have to go through in the morning. And just relax on the couch and drink my coffee and that's it. And stop all this kind of stress I have to wake up to. That's what everyone wants including me, and now I have to go through this kind of thing. But let me tell you something also as well. Whoever you are, whoever you really are, 
leaking those nude images of, of me on social media, you are one of the worst people I've ever seen in my entire life. You are full of shit. And I hope you fucking die one day. I hope you burn in hell for everything you put me through. Okay? You deserve to die and you deserve to burn in hell for everything you put me through. Because of you, I'm just struggling. And you don't care about that, do you? Well, you should. You got a family. You got a wife. You got a child. Don't you? I have none of those kind of things. What would they say to you if you have actually done this to me? They would tell you that you're the worst dad ever if you have kids. And they say to you that you are the worst person ever. You ruined someone's life for money. And you destroyed their lives. You destroyed my life so much. And thanks to you, I can't get my life back on track because of stuff like this, you know? You are the worst people ever. You are full of shit. And I hope that if justice is served to you, I hope that you die. I hope you burn in hell. I don't want anything from you at all, okay? All I want you to do is stop hurting these people. You need to stop hurting these people and you need to stop destroying their confidence and their ability to feel better, you know? You are disgusting.